Well, hello everybody. Um, I have two hands. Uh, it's a very precarious setup, but as I wanted to show you my new vacuum cleaner, um, I wanted two hands. So I have a tripod with my camera on it, um, but in front of the camera is my phone. Um, I don't have a way of getting the footage off my camera, so if I record you on my camera, um, I can't do anything with it, whereas at least if I pick up my phone, I can upload it to my computer. Um, so it's all very chaotic and the light shines directly um, wherever, the, wherever I put it. So you get this on the screen, which hopefully you'll be able to see what I've just done when I upload it, otherwise I'll look like a right ninny. Um, so I've put a mouse mat on top of the camera to stop glare. So this is really high tech stuff people. Um, high production value here from Narrowboat Noob. Um, anyway, I've got the new vacuum. So it's a Hoover. Um, it is a handheld, so it's cordless. It's a Hoover H3500 PET. So, there we go. Um, and I love it. I've used it a couple of times. It's brilliant. It comes with a little bag that has all the accessories in it. Now with the pet, you get um, a crevice tool and also a little pet wheelie thing that you know you can do stair carpet with if you have stairs. I mean, I have steps with some carpet on, so I think that's what I'm gonna use it for. But I don't currently have a pet. <laughs> Watch this space. Um, it also comes with a little wall mount, so you can mount it on the wall. Um, but it's so small, I'll either just keep it under the kitchen cabinet, under the kitchen shelf here, or um, put it under the bed. So it does stand up on its own. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you standing up on its own. I'll show you after. Um, but essentially, it all comes apart. So this is, this is going to be great, people. So you can take it apart so it's just that and uh, this slides down as well so you can kind of do things like um i don't know crevices and keyboards i'm going to use it to clean my keyboard um and that's really really light so you can kind of do above your head this can slide back down and you can put <laughs> now i've lost it oh, there it is happens when you start doing stuff to camera isn't it crevice tool on there and then that is dead easy but you can also attach the long thing to it so you can attach that to that crevice tool on there and then you've got a long one that you can do up there or sort of point into crevices but you can also put this on the end of here and then it becomes a proper sort of floor cleaner. It also has a carpet setting, so it has a roller. So the carpet setting turns the roller and it also puts a light on at the front. So my um, old sort of tower, sh uh, tower shark vacuum cleaner was brilliant. The light on the front was fantastic because it showed up all on the muck. Uh, you don't realise how filthy the floor is until you put lights on the floor. Um, so that's that. And it stands up when it's fully erect as well. So when it has the long pole on it. <laughs> this is going great, isn't it? Um, it stands up, which is which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, it was one hundred and seventy pounds. There is a red one, which is not the pet version, which is only one hundred and fifty. So if you're not bothered about the extra um, tools and things, um, the one I was looking at didn't come with the crevice tool and I really really wanted the crevice tool because that's what I use most I have no idea why it's got a notch in the front can you see that there we go um pass I don't know um maybe for cleaning it comes with a little cleaning tool as well that you can clean the um that you can clean this with so this is really easy um you just <laughs> I've just dropped muck on the floor um, it's come out of there, so this, this is a great start. I'll do some cleaning in a moment, I'll do some vacuuming. So you just unhook that and this drops out, all the dust drops out, but you can also slide that out and down 
and clean the filter and stuff in there and it comes with a spare filter as well um so yeah really pleased it comes with a turbo setting so three buttons on turbo and part it and turbo just makes it suck more <laughs> um so yeah really chuffed and that's a really um i'm really pleased with that purchase so i'm now gonna clean up this dirt that i've made Stands up all on its own. I've just met one of my lovely subscribers. It was great to meet you, Chris. Thanks for watching. We had a great conversation about alcohol, everybody. Um, do you know, it was when I was emptying the loo, and I meet and have the best conversations whilst I'm taking the cassette to the to the to the toilet to empty it. So. <laughs> It's a great thing to do. You meet the best people. <laughs> I'm being watched quite creepily through the window. <laughs> oh, now that I've spotted them, they're going. They were literally just staring at me like they knew something I didn't. <laughs> it's laundry day today, so I'm going to uh, strip the bed, put clean in sheets and do a white load so I don't have a washing machine on my boat so some boaters do um I don't a I don't have any room for one <laughs> there used to be one apparently um at the end of the kitchen where the shelves are by the steps um but there hasn't been one there for quite some time um so even if I could put one in I don't think I would I don't usually have that much laundry um so it'd be a waste of space but it'd also be a waste of money um and also, I don't have an inverter, so although I could run one while I'm on the shoreline in the marina, I could never run one out on the cut. So I try not to kind of buy anything that if I can't run it off the batteries, then yeah, what's the point? Because I do hope to be on the kit someday. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's why I don't have a washing machine. Um, so there's one in the marina here. Um, so I generally do do it here. It's quite expensive though. It's £3.50 a time and it's also £3.50 for the dryer as well. So it's pissing down today with rain. So if I do a load here, I can't dry it outside. So I have to put it in the um, in the dryer, which I also don't like doing for environmental factors and cost. <laughs> um, and Or I could take it to, there's a laundrette in the village in Ellesmere. Uh, or, or also I could take it around to my mum and dad's to do. So there's a couple of different ways. Um, I've never used the laundrette, but I have used the, the one here, which is great because um, it's quite a big washing machine, so you can put quite a lot in. Um, so that's today. And it's also shower day. <laughs> um, look at the state of my hair. I love it. It's got that just, just out of bed look, uh, which is ironic because that's true. Um, so I've got the the central heating on, so the diesel heating, which give it half an hour, I'll have hot water for a shower. So I'll have a shower. I also need to fill up the water and that is a marathon job for me on this boat because the hose pipe is a nightmare and it's at that end of the boat and the water's this end of the boat, that end. Um, so I have to, it's, I'll see if I can show you later, but it's on the side of the uh, deck and you have to take it off because it's in the way and it's um like it sits on the hose pipe and it causes issues so it's off at the moment so I have to mount it again to unreal it and then it doesn't unreal very well and you've got to get it just right to get it to like stop reeling in automatically it's one of those so that I can then pull it through the length of the bow and hook it up at the front um so yeah so that's a bit of a job um Sorry, my hands hurt. So I'm going to swap hands. So that's that's the job for today. Um, a few jobs for today, and then I'm just going to chill because it's a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> that's it.
that's it for this week folks thanks very much for watching and we hit a milestone this week we've hit 400 subscribers so thank you so much it's such a pleasure to know that people are enjoying these so please do continue to like comment and subscribe to the video to the videos in the channel um i'm really chuffed that uh, over 400 of you want to watch a narrowboat channel where the boat doesn't go anywhere um i promise you it will go somewhere <laughs> um but it's great to to see that you're with me on this journey it's really comforting to know that that you guys are there and watching and able to give me such incredible advice so Again, thank you for following me on this journey and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.